Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Nice. And you? Very well. Very nice. Nice. Nice your shirt. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is Adidas? It's Adidas, yes, but this is uh, the old one. This is from the so. Ah, this is the old, ah, the, the, the vintage. Model. Yeah, exactly, that's the one. That's me. <laughs> me llamó la atención, how say? Uh, it took my attention. Took my attention by the by the brand Adidas. This is not the, the actually, the actual sponsor. No, no, it's not a sponsor. It's a, it's a brand. Yes, the brand, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the brand, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is not actually brand, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice. Perfect. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. So uh, let's check about the attendance right now, okay? So Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Daniel Antonio Luna. I'm here, teacher. Good. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino Garcia. Erika Jasmine Martinez Carpio. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Herman Alexander Durán Linares. Good. Hector Francisco Morales Rico. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Good. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Good. José Alberto Baños Hernández. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Good. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present. Good. Oswin Alexis Flores Hernández. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Sulma Janet Ramírez Avalos. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present. Good. David Alexander Rodríguez Sánchez. Present teacher. Very good, perfect. Okay, let me just check here. We took everybody right. Good. And Kenya. Ah, okay. Got you here, Kenya. Let me see here. Yeah. Okay, nice. Okay, uh, so the first question I have for you is how are you doing with the with the plaf, so everything is going well. I mean, no problems at all, right? Yes, we finished. I finished uh, the not the one one point seven. I don't know one point oh, all 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 one. <laughs> okay. All all one one thing. <laughs> I forget. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> One set show. <laughs> okay. <All> one set show. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So in the platform, actually, uh, you you are going to see for this for this uh, module that you are going to see that you have two classes and one homework. So that is good. All this uh, unit is like that because remember that the book only has four units right so whenever you you check into that one it's not possible to have more homework for that one. so it's a good thing okay so now let me then just 
show you here that the class of tonight. Okay, a little bit of grammar, conditional sentences, okay? So uh, these are, it's like a new topic that we're going to check. So let's see. Um, David Alexander Rodriguez, could you please read this paragraph? Not possible. Vanessa Noemi, please. Okay. Conditional tenses are used to speculate about what could happen, what might have happened, and what we wish would happen. In English, most sentences using the conditional contain the word if. Many conditional forms in English are used in sentences that include verbs in one of the past tenses. Very good, perfect. So this is the topic we're going to start with tonight, conditional tenses. So the conditional tenses is to speculate when you have like a condition. If this condition happens, this is the consequence. So that is like the conditional uh, tense and well there are many ways of conditionals some of they show you what could happen if something is true what might have happened past and what we wish will happen that is pure speculation right uh, and all these words all these clauses all these sentence are with the word if okay many conditional forms in english uh, have verbs in one uh, of past tense, but the one that we're going to check tonight is not the case. Okay, so this is like, let me just pull out that one. This is the first one. First conditional describes a particular situation, says. So this is the one that we're going to check, first one. For example, and this is a good example, if you sit in the sun, you'll get burned. That is the condition. If is very important. And remember that since this is a clause, the, this is like two ideas together. All the clauses are like that. And we separate the clauses with a comma. Okay? A rule that is very important is this. If the, the conditional part is at the beginning, we separate the sentence with a comma. If the conditional part is the second one, there is no comma. So for example, if you sit in the sun, comma, you'll get burned. But if we change the position of the conditional, there is no comma. For example, you'll get burned if you sit in the sun. No comma there. Is that part clear? Yes. 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 Very good. So the first condition has the present simple after if. So in the part of if is all uh, always the simple present tense all the time. And then we have the future simple in the other clause. So we're going to use will. So in the first part, in the if part, simple present tense. This is very, very important because remember, if we're speaking about third person, we're going to say, for example, if she sits in the sun, she'll get burned. So simple present tense rules uh, are very important. Okay. And there are other examples. If it rains with S because it's simple present tense. If it rains, I won't go to the park. If I study today, I'll go to the party tonight. If I have enough money, I'll buy some new shoes. She'll be late in the rain if the rain is late. She'll miss the bus if she doesn't leave soon. If I see her, I'll tell her. So it's very easy, very simple. Look at the example that the ones 
that start with if, we separate the clause with a comma. The other ones, for example, she'll be late if the rain, if the train is delayed, no comma. Because the first part is the future part, the consequence. Okay. Do you have any questions with this? Clear as or chata. Okay, let's let's make some examples together. So this is clear, okay? We can say, for example, if I study English, comma, here a comma is very important. Uh, you can say, I'll For example, I'll be able to travel. So remember that if we change that one, we say, for example, I'll be able to travel. So the same, that is exactly the same. But in the second one, since we start with the will option, no comma here, right? In the first one, since we started with if, we are going to set a comma here, okay? Also remember that we're going to use the simple present tense. So for example, if she goes to, I don't know, the park, she, let's say she, bring some food, for example. Goes, that part is very, we cannot miss that part, okay? Uh, and so on, so it's very easy, very simple, this part. Do you have any questions about this? No. Okay, if we don't have questions, what we're going to do is we're going to write some examples. Okay, I'm going to give you a few minutes. Remember that it's possible also to create negative. For example, if she doesn't go to the park, she won't bring some food. Okay, or it can be one negative and the other affirmative. If she doesn't go out, uh, she'll cook, for example. So it's possible to do that. Way. Okay. So I'm going to give you a few minutes so you can write, let's say, six sentences, okay, with this.
Okay, have you finished? Very well, so let's see. We're gonna start with Nelson Antonio. Will you please share the sentences that you created? How many teacher? How many sentences? Six. <clears throat> Six. Hmm? Only four. I. I get. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna wait just two or three more minutes. Okay. Don't worry. Take your time. Let's wait a little bit more because some people haven't finished. Only sentences. Really. Yeah, sentences. It could be negative or it could be affirmative or it could be a mixture, one negative and one affirmative. So that would be it. It would be with the, the, with the conditional if, right? The one that we just checked. Okay. Okay. If, if it rains, I'll bring my umbrella. Okay, very good. If tomorrow... I don't work, I, I rest at home. Okay. If I don't study for the exam, I'm going to fail. Okay. If I don't eat the, eat, if I don't eat the healthy food, I will get sick. Okay. The another, I won't play soccer if I don't help at, at home. Good. Only that piece. He was very good, very good, perfect, thank you. Daniel Archimedes, it's your turn. Uh, okay, only four sentences I get. Okay, uh, that's fine. Okay. If I go to the Europe, I will buy souvenirs. Okay. If you get a lot of monies, you will able to buy a new car. Okay. He will able to visit the Vatican if he learn in Italian language. Okay. If I eat sea food, I will get a stomachache. Only that. Very good. Perfect. That was very nice. Uh, okay. Vanessa, no me. Okay. Uh -huh. If you save if you save enough money, you buy a new car. I don't know. I don't know if the next one is 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 right. Okay. I'll be dehydrated if the weather doesn't change. Yeah, that's fine. Se dice. Yeah. <laughs> if she wins the competition, she will receive a prize. He will travel around the world if he wins the lottery. If you don't go to the hospital, your health will be worse. And I don't like to go to the beach, but if you will invite me, I can go with you. Okay, very good, very nice, thank you. Hector Francisco. Yes, teacher. Okay. I have, I don't know if we make the good. If we make the homework, I will get free the Saturday. Okay. If you don't, eat the break, breakfast you will get you will have headache headache okay. i will i will drive the car if you clean it you will get married if really love her <laughs> <laughs> if you if you break 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 the routine you will grow up the opportunity he will win the game if you make the good movement. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Nice. Daniel Antonio Luna. Hey. 
if I have time, I, I will see the movie. If, if the weather is good, I can see the sunrise. Okay. If you have the document, you can send me by email. You will be lost the train if you get up late. Okay. You can get sick if you don't drink water. You can get lost in the city if you don't know it. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Holman Saul. Okay. <clears throat> if I finish my homework, I'll go to the park. If I learn English, I'll talk English with my friends. If I go to the park, <clears throat> if I go to the party, I'll see my friends. If I cook, if I cook, I'll have a dinner. Okay, very good. Nice, nice, nice job. Uh, Osvin Alexis. Okay. If I go to if I go to work tomorrow, I will have money. If she participate in the games, she will win. I will be engineer if I study a lot. My sister could be a doctor if she go to the university. If I if I study English, I will speak English very well. If I have opportunity, I will take advantage. Very good, perfect, very nice, thank you. Let's check then. Jamie Raquel. Not possible. Manuel Escamilla, I guess it's not possible. Herman Alexander. Okay. Okay, Jamie, go ahead, Jamie. Okay, I can see you. If you don't wash your clothes, you look very good. If you go out, you will stay until late. You cook the dinner if you don't come early. And if I don't pay my subscription, they can sell to Netflix. If you don't study, you yeah. get a low score. They come late if she don't drive faster. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, let's see. Carla Lorena Lingua. Not possible. David Alexander Rodriguez. You did it already, right? Kenya Cecilia Ruiz. Not possible. Erika Jasmine. Not possible. Jose Alberto Años. Um, I just uh, connect recently, but uh, I, okay. try, I try to the the, do the sound the sentence, but okay. I don't know if, if you were right. And okay. if I finish the homework, I will go to the mall. Hmm? If she comes early, she can buy the ticket. If George has the money, he will go to the beach. If cashier, if the cashier do a good job, she doesn't have problems with her boss. 
And okay. if we finish the product today, we will have a day off. Okay, very good. That was very nice. Thank you. Christian okay. uh, Alexander. <clears throat> Hello, teacher. Hello. If I get sick, I won't be able to work. If I I will stay focused all the day if I drink a cup of coffee in the morning. If I am tired, I will be asleep in class. If I have time today, I will practice English. You will have internet if I turn on the Wi-Fi. If I use my smartphone a lot of time, I will get a headache. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Fatima, please. Sorry, teacher, what is the activity? Activity. I uh, we just checked some uh, grammar and we have to create uh, six sentences with that one. But if you don't know, if you were late, don't worry. We can skip that one for you. Okay, very nice. So this topic was kind of easy. We're going to check in the book some other examples. By now, we're going to watch a video and check uh, as usual. We're going to see, we're going to try to understand, we're going to give opinion to check if, check if we understand something there, okay? So let's see. It's another 10th video. It's a really good one, actually. So here we go. A veces mm, it's not this one. Sorry for the mistake. Let me check. Hold on a second. It was a different. One. Oh, this is a different one. Okay, here we go. Okay, Herman, don't worry. I know that happens, so. Let me just check. Okay, here we go now. When I was in high school, my mom asked me to order a pizza for the family on a Friday night. I looked up the phone number in the phone book and promptly handed the phone to my older brother to place the call. I was too shy to talk to a stranger. Fast forward to college at the University of Illinois, my first time away from my small town. I spent the first several weeks crying in my dorm room, too homesick to partake in early freshman partying. The one frat party I did attend was so disappointing, I wanted to trade in my books, abandon my major, and head back home to my small town. The confident behaviors I needed to pursue this stream were not yet available. And when I looked around at the confident students walking around me around campus, heads held high, pursuing a dream that they had set out to achieve, I wanted that kind of confidence too. But my behaviors did not align with these confident attitudes. Crying in my dorm room, shying away from social engagement, not showing up for class because I was worried others were smarter than me, these were not gonna lead me to achieve my goal, so I knew is that I needed to change. Research tells us that in order to get people to change, you need to not start with the attitudes, but with the behaviors associated with those attitudes. When people can see themselves behaving differently, they get, then begin to act differently. So the questions for me were, who am I? Who do I want to become? And how does this person I want to become behave? The answers were that I wanted a successful career, one that meant something, allowed me to contribute. And for me, that was defined as a career as a sports executive. In order to achieve this goal, I needed to begin to act more confidently. And I did. Because 13 years later, I became the first female general manager of a AAA baseball team in nearly 20 years. Thank you. 
I also went on to host the Leadership is Female podcast where I've interviewed over 90 female executives in sports, an industry that's over 80% male at management level and above. And time after time, these women have told me that the number one skill they've improved in order to earn their spot at the top of the sports industry is confidence. They, like me, did not possess this confidence necessary to increase their level in their career from the get-go. They had to work on the behaviors associated with this attitude in order to propel their career forward. So I'm here today to share with you six behaviors you can start today to increase your confidence. Why is it important to increase our confidence? Well, think of this. How would you behave or what could you achieve if you were 10 times more confident? Number one, count yourself in. I spoke with a woman about her first time doing sideline reporting at a nationally televised basketball game. She was shaking in her heels, standing courtside, nerves overtaking her until she heard something familiar in her headset. We'll be on in five. And three, two, one, you're live. And she performed with excellence, the nerves melting away. She's an athlete, a former basketball player, used to performing on the court by the clock. And the tactic remained true. Counting will get you started and momentum will keep you going. I have used this technique. I've had more uncomfortable conversations than I care to recall, but one I'll share with you today. I vividly remember standing on the warning track of the baseball field 45 minutes before game time, looking at the opposing manager and his team wearing the wrong color uniform. I wanted to turn and run back up to my office and hide, but instead I faced him head on and I said in my mind, three, two, one, go. And I started walking towards him. And when I arrived, we had a very uncomfortable conversation about his team wearing the wrong color uniform. Yes, I had asked these grown men to change their clothes. It was so awkward. But when I asked myself, who am I and how do I behave? The answer was that I'm a person who's not too shy to, to stand up for what I believe, what is right, and stand up to conflict. Counting got me started and momentum kept me going. Number two, what if you only had to be brave for a total of 20 seconds? Give yourself 20 seconds of courage. This behavior helped me enormously when I published my podcast, Leadership is Female, bold title and all, for all the world to see, hear, critique, and have their opinions. I vividly remember sitting on the carpet of my closet floor, holding my computer, looking at the upload button, thinking to myself, does it need any more edits? Should I listen to it one more time? And I told myself, Emily, give yourself 20 seconds of courage. And I hit publish and it was done. And guess what? I kept breathing and the world kept turning and the podcast grew into what it was meant to be, all because of 20 seconds of courage. Number three, take a seat at the table. Not metaphorically speaking, actually take a seat at the table. I spoke with a woman who represents some of the biggest names in baseball and she told me a story about taking a seat at the table. She noticed women waiting around the edges of the room, waiting for the seats to be filled. And worse yet, she was doing it too. In order to become the more confident woman that she envisioned herself to be, she needed to go in, sit down, speak her mind, and get the deal done. That started with one simple action, taking a seat at the table. Number four, cheer for other people's success. They say that women will pull up the ladder behind them. What if you didn't? What if you extended a hand back to lead her forward? What if you celebrated the success of a colleague rather than feeling sorry for yourself that it was not you accepting the accolades? Confident people celebrate the success of others rather than feeling threatened. Think of this great quote from Amy Poehler. Good for her, not for me. It turns that pit in your stomach of, oh, she did that and I'm still here into, yes, good for her, not for me. This is her celebration, not mine. And when my time comes, isn't it going to be great to have the support of so many people around me? Wins are so much better celebrated together. 
join in, cheer someone else on. Here's number four in action. Recently, a woman was promoted to chief marketing officer of a major sports league. The offer to interview and ultimately land the job came after her public celebration and sincere congratulatory outreach to the newly named female league president. Confident people support those around them. Cheer for someone else's success. Number five, bolster your confidence for a new activity through your already great performance in another. What are you really good at? What is easier today than it was one year ago? What is your most proud accomplishment? Answer those questions. Think about those answers. Those answers is where your confidence is born. Confidence is born in all we've already done and already achieved. Recently, a woman I interviewed on the Leadership is Female podcast was going after a big, big promotion at a top team. Before she went in to pitch her boss, she reviewed her current job description, made notes of her accolades in all areas mentioned, and then was prepared with the examples and the confidence of the success she had in the past. She got the promotion. Use your prior success to propel yourself forward. And number six, celebrate constantly. How often do we reach our goals and then just immediately move on? When we do this, the recollection of that success is diminished. How can we confidently move forward if we can't remember what we achieved or worse yet, link that accomplishment to stress? Find ways to celebrate that are meaningful to you, like creating a highlight reel in your cell phone of your most proud accomplishments. Take your team out for celebratory drinks when you close the big deal. Buy yourself a massage or maybe order a pizza when you reach your personal goals. It doesn't matter how you celebrate, it matters that you do. This will create a marker in your brain to rewire and reinforce the behaviors that led to the success in the first place. I've come a long way from the girl who couldn't order a pizza to the woman who became GM of a minor league baseball team, started a podcast and delivered a TEDx talk all because I made the decision to become a more confident person. And I hope you do too, because how many runs could you score if you were 10 times more confident? Thank you. <laughs> okay, what did you get from the video, my friends? teacher Hello. about about the confidence and sit at the table and celebrate goals constantly very good that is very important sometimes we achieve a goal life is like that we have we achieve one goal and then we want another one right? so uh, but we need to celebrate the, when we achieve something we need to celebrate Any other comments? Yeah, he's, she said that it's important to know uh, who am I and who I can uh, be in the future. So uh, if, if, if I know this, this answer about this question, I can change the, the, the way that I live my life. And she said about, uh, five steps to to act more confident. So I think at 20 seconds to be brave, it's important because in, 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 some, in some cases, we can give us steps to, to make some new. So with this tip, we can, we can improve and we can be brave to, to, to make some decisions that, that are important. And we can apply it to to in our work or in our life to be a, a more confident in 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 my life. So very good, perfect, very nice. So I really believe that is very important to be honest with you. I believe that we need to know who 
I am, right? It's very, very important because uh, it's, it's going to help you with your potential and also it's going to help you with your weaknesses so you can check it out. Know. Okay, so, and also uh, what you want to be. So you can work with yourself. So at the end, you can be exactly the person that you want to be. So it's very important. Nice. Any other comments or opinion on the video? The, I understand that the, she was talking about the, the, the each confident in the other people. Uh, we need to celebrate what, uh, uh, all as a uh, successful um, situation that if you behave or have, if you have, you need to celebrate all. You didn't need to uh, expand your happiness feels, your feeling. I think it's very important to um let me see be be uh, around uh, be be happy and, and share your your let me see your feeling I think I understand just like that very good perfect definitely to share your feelings and to be happy about everything that we have sometimes we forget about that. sometimes it, it, in my case, with the other people, uh, it's successful in this your hunger, in your job. I feel really happy. I feel, oh, good. It's very nice. Congratulations. It's, I feel nice when the other people happen a lot of things good. Okay. That is true. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, we are all together. We are linked. And if the world is better, we're better. So definitely it's a very good thing. Nice. Any other comments or opinion on the video? Okay. So remember, tomorrow we have homework. Very interesting. You're going to speak about your a hero, let's say, somebody that you admire. So tell us about who that person is and why you admire that person. Okay. Very good. So we're going to start tonight with the unit number two, management and conflict. And it says, I will be able to apply conflict management strategies to solve a conflict at the workplace. Number one says, let's start. And the question is for everybody. Do you think conflict is a normal part of any social and organizational setting? What do you think? I think uh, yes, teacher, I... because uh, any may different people may be different view point view or viewpoint uh, point of view point, point of view, and this is normal. Uh, you have a different idea uh, for a solu uh, solve a solution. Uh, any problem? Maybe my my opinion is different. Maybe have a, a little conflict, but no, 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 it's a problem. When when we fight for different view point view, this is not not good, it's not normal. But I think it's normal. It's the any people different uh, two people maybe have a different opinion about a similar problem, I think. Very good. Definitely, you are right. Somebody else is going to is going to say something. Yes, teacher. Uh, I think this the, the conflict is normal because if you you have you you will you you have a a point of view different for the other people is is normal. In, it's very, it's, it's very normal, the, the conflict. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, you are right. Both of you are right. So, because we're different, right? I mean, we're not the same. And you are going to have different point of view of me. 
but sometimes those little conflicts sometimes get into problems, right, into trouble. And the leader has to manage those conflicts. So it says the second question, what happens if conflict is left unresolved at work? What do you think? What happens if it's not resolved a conflict in the work? Uh, at the workplace, it, it, it was was a uh, uh, convert to be problem because one person work different or or have a point of view different from other co-worker is gone gone he don't have they don't have uh um the same goals for the company okay very good so Is yes go ahead no i i have a question go ahead i not understand the idea about the left unresolved unresolved left? Uh -huh. the hard to resolve Sorry? Dejar sin resolver. Oh. So Thank left, you. left is the path of leave. Okay. Okay. If if conflict is left unresolved at work, you will get a toxic environment for works, I think. Very good. So yeah, both opinions were very good because uh somebody said yesterday actually the one of the more most important part now in our work is the environment. So if you have a conflict with a person there in your work, maybe the other person is doing their regular job, but you believe that it's because they want to cause you a conflict or a problem. So uh, at the end, people are not going to be happy. And of course, that is going to reflect in the production, right? In the in the business itself. So it's not going to be good at all. Yeah, Good. I think it creates a, a bad relationship with your co-worker if you don't resolve the conflict. Definitely. That is not good, right? When you have problems anywhere, I mean, at home or uh, with any relationship that you have, it's a problem. So it's better to solve it. I believe that that's, that is where uh, communication is a, a very important factor, right? Because All the problems have a solution. That is true. That is true. Sometimes the only thing that you need to do is to sit down and speak about it, right? Okay, so we're going to check the conversation. It says, read this conversation as you really pay attention to the conflict it features and the possible solution to it. So I'm going to tell you the conversation so you can check the pronunciation and then you are going to practice and then we're going to check vocabulary, okay? So it says, Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but if possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can't stand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Hugo, would you please tell me what you admire about Sal? Well, she, uh, I have to admit that she, that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handlers work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? He did a great job increasing sales by a 15% this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both had not contributed to our projects, we wouldn't have had such growth last year. From now on, remember what you just said about each other to help the company continue to grow. Okay, pronunciation questions, my friends. By now, only pronunciation.
contribute, contribute, how do you say? Con Contri contributed. Contributed. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other question? Teacher, how do you say attacking? Attacking. Attacking. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Teacher, mm -hmm. the difference of the pronunciation of the words is grow with th and grow without th. Okay. Uh, the last paragraph. paragraph. Yeah, uh, grow or without th is the verb. And growth with th is like a noun. And how do you pronounce grow with th? Growth. Grow. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other pronunciation questions? What is the meaning of the word approach? Approach is the way that you handle some, face a situation. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let's practice, my friends. I want to listen to you making the conversation. So, the first one, uh, let's start with Jamie. Jamie, Raquel, and Christian Alexander. Okay. okay. We are going to read. Yes, please. It's going to be the conversation, both of you. Okay. I start. Okay. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but if you, but if possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can stand how, I can stand how she allow her sub subordinate to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me? Meeting? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Hugo, would you please would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Well, see, I have to admit that his reports are extremely accurate. And that her salary department hardly work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? He did a great job in crazy style by a uh, 15% this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both have not contributed to our project, we wouldn't have had such grow, growth last year. From now on, remember what you just said about each other to help the company continue to grow. Very good, perfect, nice. Now we are going to listen to Fatima and Nelson Antonio. Who we'll start, teacher? Uh, you can start. Okay. Richard, I understand you would like use to work together. But if possible, please pair me pair me up with another of the managers. I can start how she allows allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. Hello, Fatima. Not possible, Fatima. Okay. Uh, Surma, Janet, could you please help? Yes. Uh, Isali. Yeah. 
Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. You would you please tell me what you admire about Charlie? Well, she I have to admit admit that, admit that her her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handles work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about you? He did a great job increasing sales by 15% uh, this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both have not contributed to our project, we, will, we wouldn't have had such growth that year. From now, from now on, remember, what do you say about each other to help the company continue to grow? Very good, perfect, very nice. Now let's check Holman Soul and Vanessa. <clears throat> Hello, okay. Um, Richard, I understand you would like us to work together but I but if if possible please bear me up with another of the managers. I can't stand how she allows her subordinates to do wherever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I I don't do that. You just did it. Who will, will, will you please tell me we uh, tell me what you admire about Sally? Okay. Will she I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her self department handles work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Google? He did a great job increasing sales by a 15% this month with his business approach. I know you, you two have different personalities. If you both have not contributed to our projects, we would have, we will have had such yeah, now um remember the company continue to grow. Very good, perfect, thank you. So, next one is going to be Jose Alberto Baños and Daniel Kibitz. Okay, teacher. I'm the Hugo, right? I think, yeah. Right. Okay. okay, let's go. Richard, I understand. I understand you would like us to work together. But if possible, please pair. If possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can understand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever that whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meeting? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Ooh, would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Well, she 
I have to admit that, that the hair person are extremely accurate and that hair studies department handles work without a delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? He did a great job in creating Sally's by um, 50% this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both have not contributed to our projects, we would we wouldn't have a had such road last year. From now on, remember what you just say about each other to help the company continue to grow. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Now we're gonna listen to us being Alexis and Hector Francisco. Okay. Yes. Okay, I am Hugo. Okay. Okay. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but it's possible please pair me up with another of the managers. I can stand how she allow her to coordinate to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Um, Hugo, would you please tell me what you are nerd about Sally? Oh. <laughs> well, no, she... I, I, I said that, that Richard and you continue with Hugo. Hugo, okay. would you please tell me what? Tell me what you admire about Sally. Well, see, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handles work without the date. And Sally, what do you what do you appreciate about Hugo? And continue. Uh, yes. He did he did a great job in creating sale by a 15 percent this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both have not contributed to our project, we wouldn't have had such growth last year. From now on, remember what you just said about each other to help the company continue to grow. Very good, perfect. Now, David, Antonio Luna, and Herman Alexander. Okay, uh, Richard, I understand would you, you would like us to work together, but if possible, possible please pair me up with another of the managers. I can understand how he has allowed her to coordinate to do whatever they want. Not possible for Hedman. Let's see. Um, Erica Yasmin, is it possible for you? Christian Alexander. Okay. Can I read it? I'm sure. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? Okay. What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Hugo, will you please tell me what you are like about Ali? Well, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handles work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? He did a great job increasing sales by uh, 15% this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you work 
have not contributed to our project, we wouldn't have, have, have such growth last year. From now on, remember what you just say about each other to help the company continue to grow. Perfect, thank you very much. And now, uh, David Alexander, have you read already? No, yeah, right. And Christian, Christian Alexander. Okay. Christian, can you start or me? You can start. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but if, if, but if possible, please pair me up with another of the manager. I can't stand how she allow her sub subordinate to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking attacking me in meeting? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You use did it. Oh, would you please tell me what you admire, admire, uh, admire, admire about Sally? Uh, well, she. I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate, and that her sales department handles work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? She did a great job increasing sales by a 15% this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personality. If you both had not contributed to our projects, we wouldn't have had such growth last year. From now, uh, from now on, remember what you just said about each other to help the company continue to grow. Very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Kenya, Cecilia, is it possible for you? Not possible, okay, she was the last one, I guess. So, now let's check uh, pronunciation first. So, let's see. Subordinates. Accurate. Delay. Approach. Contributed. Growth. Okay, and that is it. So now let's check about vocabulary. Um, pair me up. Uh, what is pair me up? Do you know? Okay, is to work in pairs. So when you are going to work with another person, so the action was of putting in pair that is pair me up or pair somebody up. Okay, I can't stand. What is I can't stand? It's like that I, I can un understand. It's not I can understand. Actually, this is something very common in English, but it's different. So I can stand is, I will say that in Spanish, no puedo soportar. No aguanto, mm. no puedo más. So when you say, for example, I can stand the music, it's because, I mean, it's not good for you, right? It's something that, oh my goodness, right? So in this case, it says, I can stand how she allows. So the other word is allow. What is to allow? Permitir. To permit. Very good. So it's going to be like the person to permit somebody to do something. Her subordinates to do whatever they want. It says, why are you always talking? Let's see another one. Um, 
accurate. What is accurate? That is exactly, I think. Very good, exactly. It's very, very good. No errors, no mistakes. Okay, uh, let's see. What is delay? When you are late. <laughs> Very good when you are late. So when, uh, yeah, that happens not only about when you are moving to other place, but also when you have to do a procedure, a process, or a report. And let's see. Let's see. This. Let's see any other. Mm, I don't see any other. Do you have any other question? What is the mean of approach? Approach is a way that you are going to handle a situation, the way that you are going to manage something. Mm, so okay. sometimes you have different approach. For example, if you have a problem with a subordinate, you can be angry, you can be supportive, you can do anything. So there are different approaches. Okay. Good. Any other question? Okay, good. So we're going to do the exercise number three. There are three questions. It says, what are the causes of the conflict between Sally and Hugo? Was, uh, what was Richard's attitude towards the conflict? And what would you have done to resolve the conflict? So I'm going to give you a few uh, minutes for you to check into that one, okay? And then we're going to see the answers of your questions. Let's see how it goes. Okay, have you finished already? Or do you need a little bit of more time? Yes, teacher, more time. Of course.
Okay, let's check. The question number one says, what are the causes of the conflict between Sally and Hugo? Aha, uh -huh, people. Uh, Hugo can understand how she allowed her subordinates to do the whatever they want. Okay, very good. So that is it, right? Sometimes it happens. There are some bosses that they say to the employees, I do whatever you want, right? And there are other people that say, oh, how can they do that one? So that happens. Number two, what was Richard's attitude towards the conflict? Talking about uh, one I admire to each other. Very good. So what he tried to do is to manage the conflict. And what he did is to to tell, to make Hugo and Sally say something positive about the other people. Because even when you don't like some things that other people have, there are always positive things, right? So if you focus on the positive, uh, it's, it's a better way for you to handle anything. Number three, what would you have done to resolve the conflict? The fire there. Uh, no. What would you do? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, will, I will say that. I, I'm fired. But... <laughs> no, no, no. It's a... and I, I, in my case, I... The same Richard's attitude uh, to calm down the, the I don't know, the, the water, calmar las aguas. <laughs> yeah, calm down the water. <laughs> Good. In uh -huh. some cases, if it exists conflict between person and company change to the one people to another department or area or building to avoid this kind of problem. Or, or or sometimes uh, make like team activities to improve the, the relationship in the work. Very good. So yeah, there are different approaches, right? So yeah, some companies might do that one. Okay, you're going to go there and you're going to go. Like in school, right? <laughs> in school, it was like that. Any other uh, solution for this one that you might have think about? I believe what uh, here in El Salvador, what people usually do is to sit down with both, right? And to say, okay, you know, we're a team, you don't have to be fighting. Um, you both are important for companies. So try to uh, avoid having differences and work together or something like that one, right? So that is probably what here in El Salvador we usually would, okay? But yeah, what Richard did was, was kind of good. I don't believe that this resolved the conflict, but it, it's, a, it's a first approach, it's a first step. There are conflicts that are more complicated than other conflicts. Right? So a question for you, have you ever had conflicts at work? Tell me about. When, when I was a, a business a, 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 a comp manager, yes, I have problems with, with the science, science person sales department okay. because he is sell 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 and go and the the, the the customer don't don't pay to the company mm -hmm. I, I, okay. I need money I, I don't need papers <laughs> I say to the I say to the to the to the sales to the sales department I need money. I don't need papers. So how you how how say get them or, or, or documents for pay? Ah, uh, yeah. So need... these are debt payments. So yeah, that is true. I need money, and I and I change the I change the the for, formula formula mm -hmm. to pay commission. It's not pay commission about the. The sale is not about the the pay of ¿cómo se dice el cobro del cliente? The payment. The payment. Yeah, I I I change the 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 formula for 
pay the commission to the sales department. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end, you were able to <laughs> to manage the conflict there. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah because because the company needs money. <laughs> needs money. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you are right. Mm -hmm. Papers are good, but sometimes they are not never pay. Right? So, good. Hey, any other uh, person that wants to share? Yeah, I think it's because the people are, the people have different attitudes. Some, some co-workers could, could be rude and you you think that they are yelling at you and maybe only that the people are speaking so you can you can think that they are a conflict between between the people so i think it's it's common in in the work in the work because you you work with a lot of people and they have a lot of attitudes so it, it's difficult that is true that is true so uh yeah i believe that that is the main problem right? that we perceive some situations as incorrect right so for example here in this in this conversation i mean what he didn't like about uh, sally is that uh, she with the employees she, they can do whatever they want so yeah it, it's not my department but i didn't like it and i don't like her because of that one right so it's a it's a situation so Okay, so types of conflict says, uh, read about the types of conflict that could take place at work. Which do you think are the most common conflicts at work? Run them from the most common one to the last common five. Okay, so the conflicts are personality styles. So that's exactly what we were saying. We're different. There are people, for example, to, to, today we had an interview for a new position in my work. And one person was saying, ah, oh, that, that person is, is too straight, is too, uh, when he says things, he's is kind of direct and I don't like that. So that was the way he perceived the other person, right? Uh, he's like, no, it's not like that. Yes, it's possible. And the other person didn't like that. One. So uh, it's not bad. But for some people, it might be kind of rude, the, uh, the, the approach or things like that. So, yeah, personality styles are, are like that. There are people that, for example, they say, everything is going to be solved. No worries. Oh, my goodness. For me, that's not good, right? It's like, hey, you, we, can, we can have to do something. Right? Poor communication, that is, I believe, I believe that is something that happens in every company. The larger the company, the poorer the communication is. So it's something that happens. Conflict of interest or values. Yeah, that might be. Corrupt of or fraudulent intents. Oh, that is a big problem. That is not correct. I believe that the other ones, I mean, pure communication is not that you are a bad person. But corrupt or fraudulent intents, yes, that is something different. I mean, if you do fraudulent uh, things at work, you can go to jail, right? So, because it's something very, very delicate. Miscommunication. And then the probably cause. So, it says jealousy. Do you know what is jealousy? Celos. That is it. When you want. Uh, something from the other people or you don't like something that the other people has or do. Then put performance, you know, what is that? Opposing positions, power struggles. What is struggle? Do you know? Okay, struggle is like when you have like a problem, a problem within uh, there is like a conflict. It's a synonym of problem or conflict. And the other one says an employee having a bad day. Well, in the U.S., when they have a bad day, they kill people. So that's not good. So uh, let's check about the causes for person. Well, for first of all, I want to I want you to tell me what is the most common 
of the conflicts at war? What do you think is the most common? I think personality styles. Personality styles. Okay, very good. Thank you. And the other people? Maybe miscommunication. Miscommunication is very common. I totally agree. That is something that happens a lot. Everybody agrees on that? Yes, both are the most common. Uh, which one, I'm sorry? Uh, yes, I agree with the personality style and miscommunication. But okay. the, for me, most common is personality style because um, you can you can get a good communication by the other people has a bad personality to it's very conflicty it's very difficult to try it to solve whatever problem yeah that is true definitely we are different and that sometimes makes some some problems some conflicts right what we need to do is to try to understand each other now let's check about the causes uh, from the ones that we have in probably causes, what is what do you believe is the cause for personality styles? What might be the cause for personality styles conflicts? Jealousy. <laughs> Jealousy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it might be, right? So you say, why this person has a better office? I don't know, might be the can problem. You, can you repeat what is power struggle? Struggle, uh, well, power is power, right? Struggle is yeah. like um, when you have a conflict. Struggle is like a conflict. It's like when you inside of you are, are thinking, this is good, I don't want this to happen, something like that. It's like a fight for, for the power. A fight, in this case, for the power, yeah. Okay, so what do you think is the cause for poor communication? It's difficult. <laughs> performance. <laughs> Poor performance. Maybe the causes here are not that good. To be honest, I was checking. <laughs> it's confused, teacher. Yeah, I don't know. The people that they do these books, I don't know what they think. Sometimes they are very good things, but sometimes it's like my good. No, so. <laughs> I, 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 I think, teacher, the, the conflict that works, the problem causes one, one by one. They are standing apart in the respuestas, practically. It might be, right? Poor communication, poor performance. Exactly. Conflict or interest, opposing positions, color mm -hmm. of them, power struggles. Mm. Rank them from the most common one to the least common parts. Because because the 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 how say the the exercise is is, is it's a rank them from the most common to the less common. It's mm -hmm. not it's not another uh -huh. okay, very good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we are not going to check that tonight, but we're going to do free practice. We have a few minutes, and free practice is something that is very good for everybody. So today, uh, individual practice. Let's see. Daniel Archimedes. Yes. <laughs> you don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be very easy. We are just going to have a conversation, okay? That would be it. Okay, hello, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm very well. Kind of tired, but, I mean, the weekend is coming. Just, just, just like you me. Yeah. <laughs> how was your day? Very hard. I mean, it was complicated. Um uh, I'm moving to another department, so I have to interview people so they can get the other positions. I mean, it was crazy. Anyways, what about you yours? Had to, 
Ah, about my day was very stressful because I have a lot of side to develop in this day. But um, I have a, a, a bad communication with our customer. For it, it's very difficult to develop the different style. So uh, for tomorrow, I'm planning to, uh, to get a free to get to send uh, some smile for making uh, samples in sample department. Okay, interesting. So the good thing is that you already thought for a plan for tomorrow. So that is nice. Yes, I I uh I plan what what need to do the other day sometimes, but I always forget what is the plan because uh, our both change the planning. Well, okay, that's not good, but anyways, that's what it is, right? <laughs> yeah. And what time do you usually go to work? I usually, when, let me see, when I need to drive, I go to my office at 5 past 30 a.m. When I go to, to get a a bus for go to the office. I need to go. Uh, let me see. Five past fifteen. Very early. Mm. Yeah, because it's kind of, is, yeah. It is because Sayapango is uh, have a lot of traffic. It's very difficult to to try. Yeah, I know Sayapango is. is uh, they have a lot of traffic. And if you depending on where you go, also in San Salvador, you are going to find a lot of traffic. Well. Yes, I need to go to the other departments because I work in Olo Quinta and I have a lot. It's far away for me. It's so yeah, far. of course. And what time do you usually finish your work? Uh, I finish my work um four past fourteen uh, p.m. at at no at an afternoon. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. That's fine. So what time do you usually get home? Uh, 6 p.m. Yeah, 6 is good. You have time yes. for other things. Yes. Okay. And do you always cook? No, I always buy my my food for for it at, uh, at the dinner. Uh, at morning, when I go to my office, I eat at the cafeteria. I buy my food for it, my lunch, my, yes, my, how do you say desayuno? I don't remember. Breakfast. My breakfast and my lunch and my dinner too. But I can't cook, I, can, I can't cook because I um, always someone cook for me. Oh, that's very good. You have somebody to cook for you. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and what's your favorite food? My favorite food is uh, sea food, but sometimes it depends on my mood because sometimes I prefer to eat uh, pasta. For example, a lasagna. I, and uh, my, let me see, I enjoy Pasta, sometimes like as lasagna, lasagna. Yeah. Okay, lasagna is very good. Yeah, it's very nice. And do you yeah. prefer chicken lasagna or meat lasagna? Mm, meat lasagna with a lot of cheese. Yeah, cheese is important there, right? <laughs> yeah, it's the most important of recipe for meat. That is true. That is true. Perfect. Very good. Thank you, Daniel. You saw it. It was very easy. <laughs> nice to talk with you. Yeah, it was nice as well. So Very good. Let's check other person. Uh, um, let's see. Jamie Raquel. Hi. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Hi, good. Very, very, uh, very tired. Oh, very tired. But tomorrow is Friday, so that's good. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's the last day on the week. 
Yeah, that is amazing. So let's see how it goes. Okay, and uh, what do you usually do on the weekends? I work in our familiar business. So I have to be there in the weekends. And what is that about? Um, we attend a, a sales for construction materials. Mm, that is interesting. Very good. So you have lots of things. I believe that the inventory is a very important part of that one, right? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, we go ahead. We have, we have to we have to be frequently a, a review or oversee uh, the inventory because we have to buy it is something that is not okay, how often do you check the inventory uh, for a week every week every week oh that is a lot of work eh? and you do that on the weekend or on the weekdays uh, i do in the weekend Okay, then which day of the week do you rest? Uh, I rest in in the in the in, in Sunday in afternoon, specifically because we were until the in the in the noon. So you just we rest in a Sunday afternoon. Yes. That is very tired. Yes, it's tired because in the weekdays we were in a proper work. Yeah, yeah, it seems that that is, that is it's kind of difficult, but that's the way it is. So if you're helping there, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Thank very you. good. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Hector Francisco. Good yeah, teacher. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Not like you, pretty tired, but hey, you continue for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Last day. Last day. Yeah, finally. And yeah, vacation is coming as well, so that is good, right? So at the end, uh, <laughs> we're gonna rest a little bit in the middle. So good. And uh, uh, where do you work? I mean, which part of the city? Uh, city? Sorry. Uh, yeah, where is it? Pan going? I don't know. Where do you work? Work. Yep. My work. Yeah, my I work. Uh, I, I am a gr I'm agronomist, but ah, work okay. in uh, environment uh, project. Tomorrow, uh, I I believe go to uh, Chalatenango, visit a uh, project. Uh, 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 partner uh, work with a farmer. Uh, uh, using a crop. Sembrar, crop, uh, um, uh -huh. free, frutal free, or, or uh, como se llama? Wood, wood free, a different, different kind of, of tree, and uh, work with uh, um, cows, a lot of cows, mm -hmm. farmer. Okay, interesting. Uh, in your opinion, do you believe that El Salvador uh, is growing in the agriculture? I mean, is getting better or is getting worse in general? Mm. In my opinion, is it necessary to uh, increase the area with crop? Uh -huh. with, uh, maybe uh, do you know the problem in, uh, in, in Russia, Russia and another country, I don't remember. 
Russia fight with uh, Ukraine. Yeah. Ukraine. They produce a lot of corn. Corn is native in America, but in America don't don't have a, a lot of production production. Uh, mm -hmm. Corn is you know corn is the ba the base base the base base of uh, all 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 food in 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 Latin America is very important increase. But the people think uh, no, it's necessary uh, make a lot uh, house make a ¿cómo se dice? centros comerciales uh, mall malls uh, uh -huh. uh, make a lot a uh, uh, mall but I don't I don't think it's necessary it's very important produce a uh, food for all the people you me the planet all all the people need a food if if we buy or buy buy the buy. products outside of country is very expensive it's necessary to have a a production a national production that is true it's very expensive and you are also right i was reading that corn is the base of almost everything for example for ketchup they don't do ketchup from tomato they do ketchup from from corn right uh-huh uh -huh. it's, it's very <laughs> You're <laughs> sure. I like it. I like no. it. What I don't know is is making from corn. <laughs> I read some somewhere that corn and ah. many other products are made from from ketchup. For example, is made from corn and in uh, other products. And what you see uh -huh. red is because there are some colorants and things like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> we uh, they uh they fool us or they deceive us deceive deceive mm -hmm. deceive our, our uh-huh <laughs> what what other oh, my what... go ahead go ahead no 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 the expression goodness <laughs> uh yeah uh, i was going to ask you what other food that we eat is from corn and we don't know do you know Mm, yes, uh, the uh, food, pet food, pet food, make make with a, a lot corn and uh, flour, fish flour, or or como se dice pluma de, de aves, like uh, uh, feathers, uh, bird feathers. Uh, like that, I I not I can't pronounce it. <laughs> uh, uh, it is it, 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 very, very common to use corn and uh, the name is, uh, I lost, lost the, the word in my mind, uh, soja, soy, soja, soja? Soja, yeah, soy. soy, in English is soy. Okay, uh -huh. uh, uh, but I don't know, pupusa, <laughs> pupusa. Yeah, that is made from corn, <laughs> sometimes from rice as well. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> okay, and uh, so you travel to different places uh, during the week. Yes, yes. Uh, the last, the, the last uh, week, week, last week, go to the uh, Morazan city, and I cannot connect, but for this situation because the uh, 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 when when traveled traveled to uh, Morazan. Uh, is uh, stay como que me queda ya stay I stay there I uh -huh, I stay there that that place and it's, it's very difficult to uh, go and and come back again and same day no it's impossible it's very uh, tired the uh -huh. uh, Chalatnago is 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 close it is is close is I can go and and come back. This and uh, this in one day. Okay, very good. So that is it, right? Uh, and uh, uh, since your your uh, career is is uh, very specialized, do you practice vocabulary in English for your career? So, for example, the name of plants or the name of uh -huh. birds or animals, anything like that. 
No, teacher, yeah, I have a problem with this. I I, I know some uh, product, tomato, uh, carrot, uh, but a lot, a lot uh, uh, crop or, or, or product. No, I don't. Uh, maybe uh, five years ago, no, the greenhouse. Greenhouse for me is uh, like like the, 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 the word, una casa verde. But no, it's a in Spanish it's invernadero. But exactly. I, uh, I don't know the good word. No, it's very special. Uh, the flow when when you have a the, the river and the river have a lot soil, it's a flow. But mm -hmm. I don't know uh, this expression. It's very difficult for me. Uh, really, it's very difficult. But this reason is necessary in no English. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, you, you are right. I mean, it's a very specialized area. And I mean, even in Spanish, sometimes we don't know the name of the plants or the name of the, uh, of the animals, right? So my to, to know that in English is another level. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hector. Thank you, you teacher. It's my pleasure. Talk with oh. you. Nice. So this activity, we're going to have this activity whenever we have the chance. So I mean, it's for us to speak, practice. As I was telling you, sometimes it's going to be everybody providing opinion about a topic, or sometimes it's going to be an individual conversation so we can practice, right? Very good. Uh, do you have any questions for the class of tonight? No, teacher. Perfect. So let's check the attendance and let's go to bed. So, Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Present, teacher. Good. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Good. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino Garcia. Present. Good. Erika Yasmin Martinez Carpio. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present, teacher. Good. Herman Alexander Duran Linares. Present. Good. Hector Francisco Morales Rico. Present. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Good. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Good. Jose Alberto Baños Hernández. Present. Good. Carolina Leiva Contreras. Present. Good. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. Present. Good. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Good. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present. Good. Oswin Alexis Flores Hernandez. Present. Good. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Zulma Janet Ramirez Avalos. Present. Good. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Good. David Alexander Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Good. Okay, my friends, uh, the one one for today is for the near activities and uh, the rest. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Rest very well and dream in English. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye, everybody. See you Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>